Heisman favorites entering this year. To the air out of the backfield to start, and this is Jaden Blow who gets the lead job in the backfield, takes it out to the 40 before he was met by Chase Wilson. And trying to replace Jonathan Brooks, a second round pick to the air. And here's one of the newcomers in the wide receiver for Isaiah Bond. He's going through as he sets up a second Texas drive with Jaden Blue slipping a few tackles and get and Roshan Johnson over the first couple of seasons here in Austin. Takes it off the left side and finds a seam. And Jaden Blue lowers the shoulder to the 40 on Henry Blackburn. We just talked about so many great things, but when you have an all-American type center in Jake Major, just watch the big man get out and block, leading the way for Jaden Blue. When you have a center that can snap the football. First down and goal, Quintravion Wisner is the new running back. Up the middle, touchdown. When Travion Wisner with the first score for Texas. I want you to watch the guard here, Hayden Connor. Watch how he comes in here and list. He makes sure that he's able to seal, get some great kickouts. When you have an offensive line who's blocking the way, they, that's an easy hole. Colorado State, they're really enjoying it. The MVP, though, guy, guys, is the uh, the one that has to plug them all in. <laughs> and make sure everything's <laughs> charged up. Jante Cook across the middle for 11 yards. How do you go out there and be a better player? Making corrections huge in game. Texas has the lead and is on the move with Quinn Ewers throwing in the coverage. And Ryan Wingo makes the catch. Ryan Wingo, that's a big boy catch. Look, he goes 6'2", 210. He's got a defender draped all over him, and yet he's able to come back to the football. Last three, the top three receivers last year, all in the National Football League. And their top six in receptions, all unavailable. Third down, it's a screen, and this is Quintravion Wisner with some burst, and he's got plenty for a first down. First team Big 12 last year got a scholarship over the summer, and from 45 yards, Burt Auburn is good as the season continues to go on. He starts out this drive with a clean pocket and firing into space. Matthew Golden, the Houston transfer, is tripped up just outside the 30 by Henry Blackbird. Third down, Ewers gets rid of it quickly. He's got Isaiah Bond turning upfield inside the five. Bumped out by Isaiah Asisima. Inside a six to go in the second quarter. Ewers for the end zone, and it is caught. Matthew Golden for six. I'm still trying to figure out how does yours get this ball in there? How does he fit it in there? That's outstanding coverage by Elias. Braden Fowler, Nicolosi off his back foot downfield, and it is intercepted. Jade Barron the takeaway. The sideline and out of bounds, shy of the 40. And you got to just watch Jade throughout this series. He's right up here up top. Just watch him. He's the guy. He isn't fooled by the action in the backfield. Just watch him, just playing his position, playing his third, and then goes and gets the football. This is why he came back for another year at Texas. He wanted to show that he's an all well rounded football player. Five wide, three-man rush, and Ewers across the middle, tight window. Isaiah Bond goes spinning inside the 10. Velocity, you see the accuracy. Bond's able to just grab that football and go. See how he just sits back? That last little hit. Coming out of the two-minute timeout ahead of halftime, leading by 17. Ewers to throw. End zone. His first in a Texas uniform. Corner of the end zone for some reason. Look, he gets the one-on-one -on -one at the bottom. An outstanding release. He gets inside and embrace to the outside. That left back corner, Isaiah Bond, I feel like we've seen that before. <laughs> be able to adjust his helmet. It's still a buck 13 to work with for Texas, getting it from Patty Turner. Silas Bolden on the hop just outside his 30. Weaves toward the edge. Bolden upfield with a seam. And Bolden tripped up just outside the 30. Bond in motion. Blue up the middle with one cut. 
slips a tackle and wiggles down to the 11-yard line. 13 yards for Jaden Blue in a big first half. Left guard, Jake Majors, the center. DJ Campbell, the right guard. Look at the push. The war with those guys, that's tough. And now it's caught. And a touchdown. Matthew Golden, second score. And then the great push that you have. And it's been run, run, run. And then all of a sudden, you get a little play action. Everyone's looking at the running back. Just watch just the quick pause by the linebackers. And Quinn Ewers, what he's able to do again, getting that. That his teammates see a difference in him. And noticeable for sure. Here's a flip on an end around to Isaiah Bond. Out to midfield. Stopped at the 40. Florida, Steve Sarkeesian said he's a hard-nosed runner. He's a workhorse, and he had everybody helping out <laughs> to get him in. And now we'll see who comes out at quarterback for Texas. In his college career, Arch Manning. Steve Sarkeesian said to us yesterday, you won't hear the stadium any louder than when he takes the field. And Arch Manning fires, and he's got it complete. Chante Cook on the move. Dragged down near the 10. And Arch Manning has entered the chat. On the snap exchange, so just operating the call, doing the routine. Arch Manning steps up. Flips it out wide to Bolden. Touchdown. Get something out of nothing on the move. Uh, you just need reps, you need plays. And Arch does it, takes off and runs and realizes I've got a guy on the outside wide open and just improvises. Silas Bolden waiting for him, keeps his eyes down the field. Does Arch Manning just a flick of the wrist? And Arch Manning, his first touchdown. At the end of the season, and now gets some extended playing time here today. And he zips one across to fellow freshman, Ryan Wingo. And the true freshman takes it to the 40. 15 yards to Wingo. And now the rookie, Jared Gibson, probes for space. And he's got a first down. And Arch Manning up the middle, touchdown. He has thrown for a score and now run for one as well. The future of quarterback at Texas is number 16 on the field right now. This is on the ground right side and Velton Gardner. Six year senior just committed less than two weeks. Brousseau toward the end zone and a little bit too tall for Ross. Diving bid and intercepted. Wardell Mack, the freshman. How fitting that the best catch of the day came from a defensive back and not a wide receiver.